An army jawan was killed and three others were seriously injured during heavy exchange of firing between India and Pakistan along the line of control in Poonch district of Jammu and Kashmir. According to sources, Pakistani forces resorted to heavy firing and shelling in Shahpur Kirni sector on Saturday night, drawing strong retaliation by the Indian Army. You know, Minister Amit Shah and Health Minister Dr. Harshwadan meet Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to review the national capital's response to coronavirus two days after the Supreme Court pulled up the Delhi government over the horrendous, horrific and pathetic situation in the city. The meeting comes amid spike in COVID-19 infections in the national capital, which has the third highest number of virus cases in India after Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. This is the second meeting between Amit Shah and Arvind Kejriwal in less than a week over the pandemic. West Bengal governor and top Trinamool Congress leaders fought a day-long war of words on Twitter over the ghastly viral video of decomposed dead bodies held with a pair of long tongs and dragged by civic workers out of a crematorium into a van in Kolkata. Trinamool MP Dinesh Devedi attacked governor Chakti Bhankar for his repeated tweet about the incident. According to the latest data from the Union Health Ministry, India has recorded the highest single-day jump so far of 11,929 fresh cases, pushing the total number of cases to 3,20,922. India has the fourth highest number of coronavirus cases among the 10 nations worst hit by the coronavirus. The death count rose to 9,195 with a single-day spike of 311 fatalities. The Health Ministry on Saturday recommended the use of antiviral drug Remdesivir in the moderate stage of COVID-19 while changing its earlier stance on hydroxychloroquine, saying the anti-malarian drug should be used only in the early course of the disease and not on critically ill patients. Convalescent plasma therapy has also received approval for off-label use. The police chief in the U.S. city of Atlanta resigned after an officer shot a black man during an arrest with the new killing injecting fresh anger into protests against the racism and police brutality. Demonstrators blocked an interstate highway and set alight the Wendy's where 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks was killed late Saturday.